In addition to using your TI calculator to graph parametric equations, you can also use it to do a few calculus things like uh, find the slope at a particular point. So you just have to go through a few steps. So step one, you already know how to do this. Graph the curve in parametric form. That means put your calculator in parametric mode and enter the x and enter the function of y, adjust the window, and then graph it. Uh, but then you just have to go into a particular menu to find, uh, to find the slope of the curve at a particular point. You go to second, calc, and then it'll have a list of options, and we're, we're going to choose dy, dx. So let, let me show you how this works. Uh, we'll, we'll do this with an example. Let's say we had x equals 2t squared minus 3, and y equals 8t plus 7. Here I've drawn the parametric curve in black on my ti. And I'd like to find the slope at negative 1. Now the point at negative 1 would be negative 1, negative 1. And you can check my algebra on that. But you just plug in negative 1 for t and for x and y. And so I want the slope of this pink line right here. So how, how are we going to find that? Let me show you. Well, we'll, we'll pull up our ti. Okay, uh, Mine's already in parametric mode. So I just have to clear out some, some old stuff I was working on. And then I'll enter the x in. That was 2t squared minus 3. And the y was 8t plus 7. The window for this one uh, looks like I just need to see as far as the, um, the t's go. I, I want to see the whole curve. So you can just use a, a large negative t and a large positive t just to make sure you sketch out the whole curve. And then for the x min, I'll go maybe uh, minus, I think minus 8 will suffice. And then up to, uh, I don't know, maybe like 5 or 6 or something like that. And then the y min and y max just has to be around minus 1, minus 1 as well. And so we'll go maybe uh, minus 6 to 6. What I have is, is fine. Okay, so, so here's the a portion of the curve. Uh, if you want it to look a little bit more like the way I had it, you can make the y min a little, I'm um, sorry, y max a little bit bigger than 6. Maybe we'll make it like 10. Okay, something like that. Okay, so you, sh you should see this looks uh, similar to the curve that I had. And so we'll go to second, calc, and this will uh, let you find either the evaluation of a point at a particular t or the dy dx, that's the slope at a particular xy point, or just the dy dt or just the dx dt at a given point. Uh, but for us, typically we'll just use number two here, the dy dx. And it's very simple. They just want to know what, what time do you want. So we'll say negative one. You just type in negative one and it'll put the t in there for you. You push enter and the slope is at uh, is negative two at the point negative one, uh, negative one. Uh, now, the interesting thing about this problem is I actually worked the same problem by hand in an earlier video, and we also got negative 2. So if you want to double check this, you can go back and watch the other video where we worked it out by hand. Uh, this just verified for us that the slope was in fact negative 2.